Prince Harry returned to the stand to testify in the first of his lawsuits against British tabloids for allegedly invading his privacy and hacking his phone. The Duke of Sussex cites 33 articles in his suit against Mirror Group newspapers, some of them dating back to his 12th birthday. NBC News foreign correspondent Josh Letterman is following this trial for us in London. Josh, defense attorneys have finished their cross-examination of Prince Harry. Walk us through some of those exchanges. What stood out to you? We just saw Prince Harry leave the courtroom just behind me after eight hours over two days of intense and emotional cross-examination in which Prince Harry had to go back and relive difficult moments, including the death of his mother, some of his failed relationships, some of the more salacious details from his past. And a key theme of the last two days has been the distinction between intrusive and illegal, right? The idea that Prince Harry surely had to face all kinds of press reporting that was deeply uncomfortable for him, but that he hasn't yet proven, according to attorneys for the Mirror newspaper, uh, that the reporting was gained through illegal means. And in fact, uh, he was asked repeatedly whether he could point to specific evidence that his phone had been hacked, that his voicemails uh, had been hacked, or whether it was merely speculation. Prince Harry responding to the attorneys from the Mirror newspaper saying, for my whole life, the press misled me, covered up the wrongdoing, and sitting here in court, knowing that the defense has evidence in front of them, and for Mr. Green, the attorney for the Mirror, to suggest that I'm speculating, I'm not sure what to say about that. Now, Mr. Green, the attorney for the Mirror newspaper, he pointed out that during court, they went through 33 different articles that uh, that the prince alleges were obtained through illegal means and said that Prince Harry couldn't point to a single voicemail that specifically, he says, was the source for that reporting. Prince Harry's response to that, he says there was industrial level evidence destruction by everyone involved. Wow. Uh, Josh, the prince got emotional on the stand while being questioned by his own lawyers. Tell us more about that moment. Yeah, this was actually right at the end of the cross-examination. He was asked what it's been like to go through this over the last two days. There was a long pause from Prince Harry. His head dropped, his voice cracked. He seemed to choke up a bit. And ultimately, he responded, it has been a lot. Josh Letterman live in London for us. Thank you, Josh. Thanks for watching our YouTube channel. Follow today's top stories and breaking news by downloading the NBC News app.